Hi, thank you for joining me. Today we are doing A Course in Miracles from the Student Handbook and we are on Lesson 29 from the workbook. God is in everything I see. God is in everything I see. The idea for today explains why you can see all purpose in everything. It explains why nothing is separate by itself or in itself. And it explains why nothing you see means anything. In fact, it explains every idea we have used thus far and all subsequent ones as well. Today's idea is the whole basis for vision. You will probably find this idea very difficult to grasp at this point. You may find it silly, irreverent, senseless, funny, or even objectionable. Certainly God is not in a table, for example, as you see it. Yet we emphasized yesterday that a table shares the purpose of the universe. And what shares the purpose of, and what shares the purpose of the universe shares the purpose of its creator. Try then today to begin to learn how to look at all things with love, appreciation, and open-mindedness. You do not see them now. Would you know what it is in them? Nothing is as it appears to you. Its holy purpose stands beyond your little range. When vision has shown you the holiness that lights up the world, you will understand today's idea perfectly, and you will not understand how you could have ever found it difficult. Our six two-minute practice periods for today should follow a now familiar pattern. Begin with repeating the idea to yourself and then apply it to randomly chosen subjects about you, naming each one specifically. Try to avoid the tendency towards self-directed selection, which may be particularly tempting in connection with today's idea because of its wholly alien nature. Remember that any order you impose is equally alien to reality. Your list of subjects could therefore be as free of self-selection as possible. For example, a suitable list might include, God is in this coat hanger. God is in this magazine. God is in this finger. God is in this lamp. God is in that body. God is in that door. God is in that wastebasket. In addition to the assigned practice periods, repeat the idea for today at least once an hour, looking slowly about you as you say the words unhurriedly to yourself. At least once or twice, you should experience a sense of restfulness as you do this. This is my favorite lesson so far. <laughs> because we really are now getting into the heart of things. So those of you who are familiar with my teachings or have read my book uh, know that I talk a lot about energy and how energy is working. And that's all that anything is. That's all that everything is. And, and so that energy really is the, is the energy of the life force of God, if that's the word you use. If you've read my book, I use the word ah, because that um, is the essence of what the word G-O-D stands for. It's, uh, and, and uh, I, I just shot a different video where I mentioned this quote, but uh, Wallace D. Waffles has a uh, quote that I, I think is perfect and, and really goes with this lesson very well. And that quote is this, there is a thinking stuff from which all things are made. And so that was his way of describing that everything has God in it as this lesson describes it. It's the same, it's the same explanation. It's just done with different words. So, um, because there isn't anything else, there isn't anything else anywhere other than the creation 
of divinity. When we're looking at the third dimension, there isn't anything that exists that God or essence or the universe or source, whatever you want to call it, made. Everything is of the same stuff, of the same thinking stuff. It's consciousness, and that ultimate consciousness is divinity. Have a great day with this lesson today, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Namaste.